I'm sure you had a lot of schools that you could have gone to. So ultimately, why did you choose? Um, when I came here, just uh, it's a lot of things stood out. Just how they structure their practices, um, the competition level, guys over here compete and just how everything here translates to the next level. And they develop their guys on and off the court, teach them how to be a pro. And just seeing the, the level of success of the UK guys in the league right now. How long have you followed kind of that success, those guys? You know, how long have you kind of followed Kentucky basketball prior? To I've been following them ever since the John Wall days. I feel like how they came in and how they uh, like restructured the game, uh, the college basketball, how like freshmen just came in and uh, the culture that they, you know, just implemented, like, uh, that's when I really started watching Kentucky basketball. Uh, Coach Cal talks so much about positionless basketball. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think you kind of fit into that? you feel like you can kind of play a lot of different roles on a team? Yeah, I think I fit perfectly. Um, that's what I've always been, uh, very versatile, uh, being able to play multiple positions and defend multiple positions as well. Uh, just being a playmaker. And I feel like we have a, a lot of guys that can do that. Uh, we can all play together and uh, play off of each other, even though we're all similarly, you know, kind of like the same position. But we all bring something unique to the table. And um, we all have, you know, different uh, attributes to offer. I think it was Quaddy earlier was talking about kind of handling the basketball. Do you feel pretty comfortable? Like, did you bring up the ball a lot and stuff like that whenever you were in high school? Yeah, yeah. I actually played point guard for my AAU team because um, we didn't have, like, an actual point guard. So I played point guard the whole time. Uh, last year, and uh, even with my my school team, I pretty much played point four, you know, point guard. So, um, you know, I've always played a lot of guard. You expect to do any of that here? Um, I expect to, yeah, do a, do a little bit of everything. Like uh, us being versatile, I feel like we have multiple guys that can play one through five and just kind of be interchangeable, and um, you know, really just show off uh, all attributes of our game. The initial impressions of what you've seen from the guys so far, just from playing pickup. I've really been impressed. Guys have really improved since the first day we got here to now. Like whether it was shooting or ball handling or finishing, you know, whatever guys' kind of weaknesses were, then they've they've really improved it, and uh, including myself. So uh, I've been very impressed, and I'm really excited to see you know when the season starts. Uh, so much talk. This is the youngest team Coach Cal's ever had. Obviously, kept up. Mm -hmm. But I've been asking other guys this year, does that mean anything to you that this is the youngest team? Not, not pressure, so to speak, but just like the challenges you're going to face that probably no other team has faced in the Kelly. I mean, yeah, we know we're going to face some challenges. You know, every team and even every individually, it's going to be a time when you go through some adversity. Um, and us being young, we really have to just stick together because uh, we're kind of inexperienced right now. So that's, that's really important about us being sticking together, being a team, having an actual brotherhood. So when one person's down, you know, the next person's right there to pick them up. And because uh, everybody's going to have their trials, everybody's going to have their times, you know. So um, um, I feel like we're prepared for it. We've built a, a good brotherhood and a good team chemistry. So I feel like, you know, we're going to be compatible together. What, uh, what do you mean most excited about this first season? I'm just excited to get on the court with my brothers, you know, just um, ready to get this thing rolling. Uh, even, you know, just from playing pickup, I'm just, I can just tell we're going to have a great group of guys, unselfish guys, and uh, I can tell our team really wants to win and compete. So I'm just excited for that. Another thing, aside from you, I guess a more positive thing is the length of this team and how long everybody is. Have you already been able to notice that, playing pickup? And oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, uh, this, this is a we. Some of the lineups are like we have really long teams, like uh, long and athletic. So I feel like uh, we're going to utilize that to our advantage because uh, there's not too many teams that are as athletic and long as us. So uh, I feel like that's a great advantage for us. And uh, it'll be even more advantage on the defensive end, uh, being able to switch every – or if we, you know, switch every – everybody can play multiple positions, covering the court, uh, shot blocking at the rim. Uh, just making it tough for uh, opponents to score on us. So I feel like we're going to be a great squad. It seems like every year Coach Cal talks about having to teach freshmen how to play defense because yeah. I guess you can kind of get away with it in high school. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel coming into this season? How do you feel like you are on the defensive end? you feel like you're – I have a lot to learn or you feel pretty good? Um, I mean, I feel both. I feel like I've, you know, I'm pretty solid, but also I have a lot to learn. Um, mainly not even so much on-ball defense, just to help defense, knowing how to rotate and everything because that's big in college because um, – 
I mean, guys are going to guard one-on-one, -on -one, but sometimes you get beat. Sometimes you got to slide over, and sometimes you got to help the helper. And little stuff like that, and um, when not to go for steals and stay solid, stuff like that. Um, that's all a part of the learning process, and I think once we start practicing, um, you know, we, we should all get better at that, you know, by the time the season starts. Mm -hmm. Phil, 100% healthy, is that maybe not overblown, but it seemed like there was a whole lot of worry back after the Jordan game whenever you got injured? Yeah, no, everything's good. I'm 100% I'm now. Uh, I know it was pretty crazy back then when it was Jordan Brand, but, you know, I appreciate it. You know, you know, the fans, everybody really cared, you know, to make sure I was all right. But, no, everything's good now. Um, 100% ready ready for the season and, yeah, just ready to get things going. I asked Vaude uh, about Hamadou, about if you guys were around during that decision, if you were – did you talk to him at all, Hamadou, about I did, I did. Mm. What were some of the things you were – I know, you know, it's ultimately his decision, but what were some of maybe the selling points that you were trying to give him about coming back? Um, I wasn't really selling him. I mean, he knew what we had in store if he was to come back. Uh, I just wanted him to make the best decision for him and his family, uh, whether that was going, declaring and going to the draft or coming back here, whatever was best for him. Uh, we were still going to be supportive of him regardless. Uh, you know, just wanted the best decision for him. So, But I knew if he did come back, we, did have, we would have something special. And... You know, and I'm, I'm glad he did. So, you know, I'm really good to show him the road. What does he bring to the table, you think, Hamadou? Uh, he brings, I mean, he brings a lot. Athleticism, uh, uh, defense, uh, versatility, um, even a form of leadership. And just being, he brings motor as well. So, uh, he brings a lot to the table. Appreciate it. Huh? Your tattoo? Oh, yeah. I always, uh, I could do all the things too fast. Oh. I never got a tattoo. Huh? Yeah. Never had a tattoo. Really. Always heard there's different once you get them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you thinking about getting one? Oh, yeah. Huh? I, am I? Yeah. No, I'm not. I've never really wanted one. I know. I have friends. You know. <laughs> when did you get it? Uh, I think it was, uh, oh, you just got one.